Hey guys! I wanted to tell you all about my country house in Tagaytay, so let's get started. Tagaytay has long been known as a romantic date place that isn't too far from Metro Manila. So it's no surprise that some amazing restaurants have sprouted up within the area. My Country House by the Raintree Group is one of the newest restaurants to emerge in the scene, giving couples, families, and even barcadas the perfect place to go out for an out-of-town meal. The place lives up to the name. You get a homey and clean ambiance with nearly everywhere you go, you'll find an Instagrammable nook. They have a breathtaking garden and a beautiful alfresco dining area. Apart from the restaurant, you can also purchase fresh breads and other food retail items from the store. And you can also order cocktails from the bar or healthy power shakes and smoothies. But of course, the best reason to go to my country house is the spectacular menu developed by seasoned executive chef Arnold Gozon. Our meal started off on a high and from there, our heads never left the clouds. The cheese gougeres kicked off the appetizers and these were parmesan and basil cheese puffs stuffed with cream cheese and were fantastic. It had a nice creaminess to go with that fragrance from the herbs. Next, we had the seared foie gras canapes which was served with a trio of spreads. Fig jam, pineapple preserves, and sweet apple relish. The beautifully cooked foie gras was placed on sourdough crisp with a jam of your choice, adding a touch of sweet tartness to override the richness. Next, we were served the miso bagna cauda, which was farm fresh vegetables that you dip into the miso butter and anchovy fondue. It's a very interesting way to get a picky eater to eat their vegetables. We were then served the burrata and beach, which was filled with roasted sweet beets, fresh dalandan bits, dill, mint, cucumbers, and roasted pistachios. Guys, the burrata was amazing. It was absolutely fantastic. For our salad, we were served the tableside kale and romaine Caesar salad, which was mixed with a medley of greens and anchovies and topped with homemade cheese crusts. Next up was the pasta dish namely the truffled mushroom and cheese capelletti. These were house-made spinach mushroom dumplings packed with three kinds of mushrooms, slathered in cream, and topped with pecorino. This was one of my favorite dishes of the day. Chef Arnold began bringing out the main, starting with the country chicken relleno. This stunning chicken was stuffed with its own ground meat, olives, pimiento, sausage, and spices, and then you add the chicken au jus for an even more pronounced flavor of the chicken. The next main they brought out was the lengua estofado. The ox tongue was slow braised and was so soft and delicate. It was then topped with wild mushrooms and Spanish chorizo and green olives. Another one of the main dishes that blew me away was Chef's famous melting salmon. I'm assuming it was so named because of how beautiful the cook of the salmon was that it felt like it was melting in your mouth. The saffron seafood paella was fantastic. These sila nagtipid ng seafood as you guys can see. The paella was filled with prawns, mussels, and squid and was incredibly flavorful. And the steak that Chef brought out was an impressive 21-day dry-aged bone-in U.S. Angus ribeye which weighed almost 1 kilo. The cook and seasoning on it was spot on and the sides that it came with was also mind-blowing. You could even order a cochinillo from my country house. And they did a great job of roasting that baby pig. The skin had a stunning crunch to it, while the meat maintained a moistness, as well as the right seasoning for you not to need some sort of sauce or vinegar. Although, I have to admit, some diehards in our group still look for Mang Tomas. <laughs> Finally, to top off the menu, we tried the profiteroles, which were pastry balls stuffed with chantilly cream, then drizzled in a warm white and dark chocolate sauce, and served with vanilla ice cream and topped with crushed pistachios. And the lighter than air canonigo was further amplified by the decadent dulce de leche sauce. With its beautiful open-air dining space, picturesque garden, and mouth-watering food, expect My Country House to be the quintessential restaurant that defines the beauty of Tagaytay. Follow me for more food adventures. Thanks, guys!